Hey there, Cabbie fans, Susan here. My friend Natalie asked me for some help packing for a two week trip where she's gonna do some business and some fun. She's going to Rome, the lucky duck, so she's gotta fly over there, do some business, and then she's gonna do some tourist stuff too. So I said, of course I'll help you pack. Not a problem at all. The trick is she wanted to put it all in a carry-on bag and an underseat bag. Two weeks worth of clothes. Enter the cabbie capsule. Okay, so the problem with packing is that everything's got to fit around our makeup, our toiletries, our shoes, and for some women, a hair dryer, right? So everything else has to fit around that. Well, that's where the capsule comes in. So. Let's start with the underseat bag because she's got to take her computer. So that's going to fit in there. Get one of those, you know, rubberized pads for your computer to fit in your day bag that will, you know, get, choose one that's sturdy enough to go to work or professional enough to go to work, but then can also be your day bag while you're doing your tourist stuff and maybe your beach bag if, uh, if your travels take you to the beach. So we've got the computer in there. What else is in here? My wallet. I like this one. It's got a re detachable uh, handle to it so I can use it as a little clutch or I can be a crossbody. It's got a slot there for my computer. So my glasses, of course, passport, and of course my phone, but I'm recording on my phone, so my phone can't go in there, but um, the, a little battery just in case my phone runs out of charge. Always a good thing to go in there. So that's it for the underseat bag. Now everything else has to fit in the other bag. So starting with a cabbie capsule, I like to take three pairs of pants when I'm going for a trip that long so that even if I come back to the hotel in the middle of the day and change my clothes, I've got another pair of pants that's freshening, you know, hanging in the closet, getting fresh, ready to wear the next day. So if I come back and go out to dinner in a different outfit, I'm still cool. So three pairs of pants to wear for that. The first one I've chosen for Natalie because she's going on business is our barrister trouser because it's got a matching jacket to it. So this is our famous cabbie ponte, super comfy to wear on the plane or while you're being a tourist and good enough looking that she can wear it too to uh, work. So then the second pair I've chosen is the pogger. Is it a pant or is it a jogger? This is in black and you can see it's got pant styling, but it's as comfortable as a jogger. It doesn't have that cuff that some joggers do. It does have four pockets, so again, can wear it on the plane or wear it while you're being a tourist, but it's good enough looking to wear to work too. The third pair, I have chosen a jean, a white jean, since we're coming up on summer travel, um, but this could be a blue jean. It could be a third pair of trousers to wear that are work appropriate, could be a skirt. So this one's kind of a wild card that you can put in anywhere. I chose our Buttonfly Straights because they've got tons and tons of stretch. So, and again, comfortable for traveling. You know, maybe you can wear it to the office, but it's great for being a tourist too. And it goes with everything. The three tops I've chosen are our replay top, the Sunbeam Canny, and then the Dad Shirt. So all of these, so right now with six items, I've got three different outfits. But the great thing about a capsule is that the tops all switch around. So I can wear my sunbeam cami with the white pants and switch everything around. So now I've got six gar six outfits with six garments, but then they'll swap one more time. So now I've got nine outfits with just six garments here. But Natalie's going for business too, so she needs a suit. Let me pull out the jacket that matches those barrister trousers. So this is navy blue. This is called the Admiral Jacket for traveling. It's got for touring. It's got pockets, zips up to keep you warm if things get chilly, but it's also good enough looking in our classic cabbie ponte to wear to the office. So that's her first work outfit, but she's gonna be working at least two days. So she needs another jacket. 
I've chosen the presentation jacket, which like the Admiral jacket goes with all of our tops and all of our bottoms. So now instead of just nine outfits that I've got without any of the toppers, now I've got 18 with the Admiral jacket and 27 when I add the presentation jacket to our, our um, capsule of clothing. So now I've got eight pieces, 27 outfits. And when I do a little switcheroo here and add the cocktail cardigan with our dad shirt here, now I've got nine garments, 36 different good outfits that all mix and match together. So now we've got to fit it in the suitcase. This isn't a big problem because we're gonna be wearing some of these too. So trick number one, wear the biggest clothes and wear the biggest shoes too when we get there. So I'd say that this presentation jacket is the biggest article of clothing. So I'm wearing that one on the plane. I'll wear this whole outfit. So now we gotta fit the rest of the stuff in. Already in my uh, uh, suitcase, I've got flip flops the little ones, so if I go to the pool or go to the spa or go to the beach, I'm all set, or if I just need it in my hotel room, some hotel rooms, you do. Anyway, so there are those all packed, and I've got my raincoat, windbreaker, and my umbrella in here already. So now, to pack the rest, I like just leaving it on the hangers so that I can pull it out and hang it in the closet when I get to my hotel room, so I'm just gonna kind of lay my stuff out flat as I can here. I would do this on my bed if I were upstairs. Um, and I'm packing my poggers, just folding in half twice and laying sideways across those clothes. So, and then my barrister trousers, just folding in a half twice, laying sideways across the clothes. And then I'm just gonna kind of fold over. A lot of women use um, like to roll things, but I've never gotten that to work for me. So I just kind of make a clothing sandwich with things all folded up. And then I'm just gonna put flat in my carry-on bag. So if I were upstairs and doing this for real, I would be, I'd uh, hang the sleeves out and kind of fold those in real nice. But for the video, I'm just gonna do it real quick here. So. Now we've got our 36 um, outfits packed. I've got my clothes for the trip and now I have to put everything else in. So Natalie is, um, oh, oh some, uh, I always like having an extra cami with me. So this one is navy blue to go with all my blues and greens. If you're not into green, we can swap something out. We can actually put in a whole, like with my Admiral jacket, I can put in that topper instead and have some dual use pieces. So my keep jacket can be worn as either a jacket or closed, you know, buttoned up as a shirt, but it's super cute over our flip dress. The flip dress is what we call a four fur. It can be worn four different ways with the scoop in the front or the V in the front, and then it can be turned inside out and worn with the scoop in the front or the V in the front. So anyway, a four fur, that makes it easy to pack extra, extra um, outfits. So anyway, I'm gonna stick with my original um, capsule, but we can make one that works for you in the colors that work with your complexion. So that's why I did that. So anyway, so we're gonna wear our presentation uh, jacket and our jeans and our replay top. We've got everything else in the, su in the suitcase. Natalie's gonna go for business, so she needs to wear some pumps. I like to take my socks and stick them in the toes here. And I also swear by shoe bags um, because then they keep the rest of your clothes clean. So there we go. I'm gonna stick them and I like to put them toe to heel. So there we go, all nice and tight there. And we're gonna put that right in the corner of the, of the suitcase. So Natalie is, uh, again, I like to take three pairs of shoes, same logic as the pants, that there's one that's always gonna be fresh for the next day, even if I come back to the hotel and change my shoes during the day. So um, I 
don't like wearing sneakers when I go overseas. If I do wear sneakers though, I wear something real cute. So I wear like, these are a uh, Dr. Scholl's product. If I'm walking, if I'm gonna be walking on cobblestones, my, I, these sneakers go with absolutely everything. You've seen me a lot on my Facebook page wearing the Adidas Superstars is what those are. But I usually just wear a, comfortable shoe. So a great sandal with a rubber sole. This is practically a sneaker again with a rubber sole, but way cuter looking. And these I just got. Yes, you hear Chip uh, uh, over there barking. So I think I'm going to pack these for my second pair of shoes. Now my shoe bag for this, I spent gobs of money on, as you can see. My other favorite shoe bag comes with the, the newspaper in it every day. So I'm gonna stuff socks in the toe of my shoe and put it in my Washington Post shoe bag. There we go. Toiletries, I pretty much leave my bag packed with my, you know, brush, my toothbrush, all the essentials of life and like travel size uh, curling iron and that sort of stuff. So there, Got plenty of room for that baby. Makeup, got to get the travel size of those too. Okay, a lot of people swear by uh, the bags, the uh, packing bags. In fact, this is the only one I have here because Bill has them all over in London right now. Uh, but again, I've never found them to be particularly useful. So use them if you love them and skip them if you don't. My favorite trip, trick is I have to wear an underwire bra and those you have to keep in shape. They have to stay the shape of the bra. So what I do is I stack a couple of them together and I stuff them all full of my undies. That plain uh, cami would go in here too. Maybe the top of my pajamas would go in here and then that maintains the shape of the bra. The undies are all tucked in there and again it goes in the corner of my suitcase. So now everything, all the essentials are in here and it closes right up because I'm gonna be wearing all this stuff. So let me just finish up with a couple of scarf tricks, of course, because I love wearing scarves. It takes up no space in my, um, in my suitcase at all and adds a whole lot of style because you'll see when I take it off, the, the outfit, you know, so wear it around your neck. This is just draped. Of course, you can tie it a million different ways. Wear it around your waist or do the belt loop trick and just tie it between these two loops. And then you get that fun color without, you know, having to go all the way around your waist. So anyway, tiny little scarf. I always like taking one of these big scarves because this can wrap me up like a lightweight blanket on the plane keep me warm. It can be a sarong for going to the pool or a little skirt for going to the beach, you know, anything like that. And I'm going to put it in a different video, but you know, these are the ones that you can turn into a vest. So that is how to pack a cabbie capsule um, in 15 minutes or less. I hope I taught you something new and enjoy the rest of the day. Thanks a lot, cabbie girls.